Hey you guys, today's video we're going to be creating the soft glam makeup look and I'm talking the eyes and a full on face. I'm going to try to do this video as short as possible, go straight to the point, so think about any further ado, let's do this. Alright, so for the eyes I chose today the Seattle London I'm a Woman What's Your Superpower palette. I'm going to start from this light pink shade and I'm just going to go with this all over my mobile lid, starting closer to a lash line and just blending it up. For today's makeup look, I'm going to use the Be Beauty makeup brushes. For those who don't know this yet, this is my brand. I created everything you see from A to the Z, from the shape, size of the bristles and everything you can think of. We have two sets so far, the eyes and the face. So I'm going to use these brushes to create my makeup look. All everything is vegan friendly, cruelty free, sensitive skin friendly because I have mega sensitive skin. If you've been following my channel, you guys probably already know this. Everything is packed in recyclable packaging with no plastic whatsoever. I'm gonna use the Crease Blend Brush by Be Beauty and just gonna go all over my mobile lid with the shade that I just showed you. So it's like a soft pink shade. Using the same brush, I'm going to go with a little bit darker pink shade on the outer corners only. We're going to darken up a bit more the outer corners once we have the eyeliner on. Next up, what I'm going to do, though, I'm taking this shimmery shade, like a champagne color shimmer shade. I'm going to go with this just with my finger. At first, later, we're going to blend with a brush. In eye corner to the middle, kind of. Slightly bit higher than the crease, so the shade is visible, especially if you have glitter eyes, make sure you're putting it slightly bit up, coming to the same brush we just used, and just softening the edges so it's not super harsh. All right, next up, we're going to apply the Fierce Looking Eyeliner. I'm just using one by Mina. This one is 900, a black one, 24 hour wear. So I'm just going to go close to the lash light and going to go for a bigger flick. You can go for smaller, whatever is easier for you. It's great. Like, don't worry if you're a little bit messy because we're gonna apply it a darker shade on the top of the eyeliner to kind of blend it so it's not as harsh. It's more like a soft one. I'm taking this darker brown shade and I'm gonna use the Be Beauty precision shadow brush like a small little brush flat brush this is perfect for blending the outer corner this brush is from the essentials eyes collection gonna go with this like on the top of the eyeliner that we just applied and slightly bit, like slightly bit buffing it to the shadow that we have for this look i want to go with the false lashes that's why i'm gonna finish off the eyes after i'm gonna do a face like the foundation and so on but if you prefer to go just with mascara you can apply it already and you know eyes would be kind of done for a face i'm starting with the primer this one is by revolution pro i've been loving this primer a lot it always good generously on my foundation, I'm going to use the NYX and Stop One Stop in the color Natural. And I'm going to apply it using the Beauty Beauty Flat Foundation Brush, Flat Head Foundation Brush. This one comes in a Essentials Face Brush Kit. Let me know, you guys, if you would like the brushes to be sold separately or brush kits are better. Just go. I always start from the middle of my face so I can work the excess product out. I'm also going to do a little bit contouring. I'm going to use a Revolution Conceal and Define and Conceal and Define Infinite C2 and C12. So to blend it, I'm just going to use the same brush I just used, the Be Beauty Flathead Foundation Brush. This is perfect for blending, especially the contour. Starting from lighter shade. And the darker shade. Blending it upwards. For the blush, I'm using Dewy Blush Glossy Chick Tint by Ciare in the color Pomegranate. I use the same brush to blend. Just like a motion. 
to set this up, I'm going to use my by Pores by Ed Cosmetics for the press setting powder and the setting brush by Be Beauty. For contour, I'm going to use the Revolution Pro Sculptic Bronzer in Cacao. As you can tell, I've been using this a lot. And I'm going to go with the Contour Brush by Be Beauty for this. For the blush, I'm going to go with that Ciata Marble Light Blush in a blue. And I'm going to use the Be Beauty Blush Brush. And just on the top of the cheeks. Because I want my face to look more sculpted rather than round. If you want your face to look more round, go on the upper of the cheeks. More sculpted on the top. For the highlight, I'm going to use a C-Hat again, so it's a glow to highlight in the moon dust. And the highlighter brush by Be Beauty. This brush applies just like a perfect amount of the highlighter. So for the eyes, for the lower lash line, I'm coming back to the same palette. And I'm going to use this darker pink shade all over my lower lid. Same brush that we used before. Then I'm coming back to the same brush I used for this darker shade in here and what's left on the brush I'm just adding on the outer corner of the lower lash line. The corner I'm gonna come back to this shimmery like champagne shade and precision detail brush by Be Beauty. Just before we finish, I'm coming back to the Mina Eyeliner 900, the color blue lash. Just gonna go in our corner. So basically what I'm doing, I'm angling this down. Thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply the lippy. This one is by Il Makeage Infinity Wear, the matte color lippy. Last thing I've got to do is to apply some mascara and the falses. So I'm gonna use the Ciara Triple Shot XXL mascara, this being my absolute favorite one. I've been wearing this daily. I'm gonna apply a set of lashes because I feel like this today, although you could just go with mascara if you wish. And then, yeah, I'll come back with a finished look. So just give me a second, I'll be back. And that's a finished look, you guys. So I applied the Vinged Cosmetics lashes in the style Smitten and a little bit of the Ciara Mascara, Triple Shot XSL Mascara for lower lash line. I didn't even apply any on the top. I just used the falses. But as I said, you can totally skip the falses and just go with the, the mascara. And you know, the soft glam makeup look would totally do that. Yeah, so what do you think of a finished look? Leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. If you're gonna go and recreate this look, tag me in your pictures, as I would absolutely love to see that. Honestly, guys, you make my day when you tag me in your pictures. If you would like to see more similar videos, let me know. If you enjoyed watching this video, as always, please don't forget to press the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more, and let me know what you think, and I shall see you very, very soon. So thank you so much for watching, and bye! Have a fantastic day, guys. Ciao!